Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to the unboxing of my tarot cards. I've got, I think, four decks in here and I'll talk you through them. I ordered this ages ago and they finally arrived last week because they were printed in America and shipped from America. They arrived last week. I did as much as just cutting the seal there and I had a quick peek inside but as you'll see I didn't open any of them they're sh they're still shrink wrapped so we're going to do this together hold on there we go so okay let's take a look where do we begin we'll start here so this is all right this is stoic tarot this is a 78 card deck which features let's see I think it says so on the back 78 card deck features the structure of tarot with the wisdom of the ancient Stoics. So that should be quite good. We'll open that in a moment. We've got the 108 card Vedic Astrology deck, which is brand new with the shrink wrap still on. I took my signature out. There is one in the world that has a signature on it and I know where that's gone and I'm so happy. I'm over the moon with who went and immediately bought that. So thank you. I know it's gone to a very loving and wonderful home. So that is great. Now this, I've put some stuff on the back here. Uh, and of course, acknowledging one of my great teachers, B.V. Raman. I read his books all the time. Oh, I was going to I'll show you one of his books doesn't matter I'll show you on another video but I was supposed to bring that here anyway and then we've got now these are just proof copies as well so let's see what these are okay so this is another stoic tarot I'll just put this away this is another stoic tarot deck um, which features like I've kind of made it so th I've made it a bit dark I don't know and I've edited I've done a lot there um, so we'll open that so that's pretty interesting. So basically that is this without the box. Okay. And if you were to buy this on its own without the box, it's a lot cheaper. Okay. And why would some of you opt for that? Well, to keep the cost down, right? Um, and the other thing is some people, they don't like to have the box because in tarot, it's recommended that you keep your cards folded in silk and that's actually a better energy for your cards or something like that so i'm giving people the option of being able to buy a box or just buy them plain and it's a lot cheaper when you buy them without the box so I, that's why i want that option to be there now this is the vedic astrology deck but as you can see in the vedic astrology deck we've got 108 cards in here now this is also a vedic astrology deck but it's just i think this is just the inner planets so if you want you can buy this this is affordable right this is you know uh, you can buy just the outer inner planets or just the outer planets so this is just the and we can kind of see from here but we'll open it up and we'll take a look um, and why have I done that the reason I've done that is because some of you will look at the price of this and you'll go oh my gosh that's way too expensive right and so I want people to still be able to get their hands on these you know uh, and you can do so in an affordable way by just buying the outer planets or buying the inner planets. And with the inner planets, you can look at someone's psychology. Okay, so you can embellish your tarot reader by looking at psychology or you can use the outer planets and you can predict with those, try and predict events and things like that. All right, where do we begin? Do you know, I think we'll begin with the main event. Let's let's go here. This is This is the one because I really just made this in order to create a color swatch for this. So um let's let's take a look all right we'll go through all of them in turn i don't know how long this video will be but stick around for the journey and what i'm going to do is um i'm just going to put the link and you're very welcome well i'll put the link and launch this video if i like what i see here all right so if you're watching this video then you, there'll be a link and you can start you know you can make an order if you like equally you can wait you can uh, I'm going to create a flip through video as well on all of my decks and they will come over the next few weeks. So take time guys, nobody has to go and buy it immediately, you know, and you might want to save up for one or whatever, like I, I totally understand, um, you know, because these things do, they are pricey and yeah, oh wow, this is great. All right, let's see. So what I'm saying is if there's a link below where you can buy, 
of course, please do buy, but equally, it'll be there for months, years, whatever it is, like these will be available. So it's not like, um, it's not like these are going anywhere. You can take your time to decide. See, I'll try and open this without destroying the box. Okay, that's not easy. Right, well, there it is. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Now what I'm interested to know, because I've changed the picture at the back, so we'll see how the picture turned out. Ooh, that is different. Okay, I think, do I like it? Let's see. I think I like it. It's a bit, it's a bit cosmic, it's a bit different to what it was. I had to change it because, um, well, I just had to change it, didn't I? Let's have a look here. Yeah, I like it. I like it quite a lot. Because it's a composition of various images, this is fine for me to, to publish these. All right, let's see how the colors turn out. This is, this is the big test. So we've got our instructions here. Oh, wow, look at that straight away. That is very different, isn't it, to what it used to be. Wow, that's great. So what do we have? We've got the sun in the first house. Yes, all right, let's take a look. This is so exciting. Oh, these are great. I'm super happy with the quality of this. That is awesome. Mercury, yep. Okay, so now I've gone for black type on the inner planet colors. And I think this is working out well. I think that's very readable, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's great. Oh, super happy with that. Fantastic. Let's take a look at Venus. Venus is a bit strong. I could have gone a bit more pale with Venus, but I went strong and with the black type, I think that's quite good. I think I'm happy with that. And the blue with the black type, yeah, that's working. So basically, if you were to, that'll be the contents of this. Uh, I'll put moon here. So that is the inner planet series. Okay, so that is that, and that's how that arrives. Um, so that's your inner planets there. Fantastic. Let's take a look at the outer planets now. Okay. Uh, right. So we've got our outer planets here. We've got Mars. Loving that. That's the Emperor Red that I chose for that. I think that's really good. And we've got the white type here on the dark colors. So I went really bold, really strong on the colors. Yeah, I'm really happy with how these are printed out as well. They're really, really good. Blue, that's fantastic. Very happy with that. And we've got Rahu. All right, Ketu is interesting. That was a bit of a gamble because I, yes, there were lots of colors to choose from in here, but I went for something quite different that wasn't, that I hadn't had a printout of and I'm really happy with that. Grey, I think grey is fine for Ketu. And I was kind of going for a mustardy, a mustardy brownie grey, but yeah, I don't know, I'm happy with that. So I'm really happy with that. That's turned out great. The box is really good. If you do opt for the box, know that it's expensive, that's all. But I mean, you only buy this once, so why not, you know? And I've, I've spent all kinds of sums on uh, decks. In my time, I just, yeah, because I'm a bit of a junkie. All right, let's have a look here. This 108 card deck features the North Indian style Vedic astrology chart and provides a brief analysis on each star position. Just this morning, you know, I was thinking about how I really must learn the South Indian style chart. And that's actually the one that B.V. Raman uses in all his books. I must learn it. Hopefully I, you know, can sit down and do that. I'm always busy doing so many things. It's sometimes hard to to get time to to study. All right, well, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. So this will definitely be for sale. Let's take a look and see how Stoic Tarot turned out. Uh, we might even draw a couple of cards just to see what comes through. That will be always a lot of fun. All right, so yeah, I love the size of these. Um, I kept the size of, I'll show you a proof that I'm working on for Nakshatra deck. That is in the works. It won't be ready for a little while. Let's see how this has turned out. Quite curious to see because I've gone for a different backing. Um, and I've also changed the type 
a little bit on this as well so I'm really eager to see how this turned out and one of the things behind this I will tell you I was thinking oh should I tell you the story of this my dad used to really like reading well he read all kinds of history and art books and all this kind of thing and one time he was reading this book called The Greeks. Apparently it's in the house somewhere. I'm going to try and find it. But it's this book with kind of yellow paper and it, it smells funny. And, you know, one of those really old, old books. It's called The Greeks. Oh, this opens much nicer. That's good. And I kind of, one of the things behind this was if I was to design a tarot deck that my dad would like, what would it be? And I think he would love this. I think this would be right up his street because it's got all these wisdom quotes from the Greeks. Wow, look at this. Oh, I'm a bit, some of the, look at that. I'm a little bit unhappy that there's this kind of white, I don't know, that's an MPC thing. I don't have any control over that, but that's how that is. It's digital printing. So, I mean, that, that flat color is really good there. That's quite good. Some of these are a little bit dusty because when the cutters cut the... Um, so I did notice with this, you see their cutters could do with a bit of sharpening. So I'm feeling like this is not... But this is better. This is good. The cutting here is really nice. So there's not too much dust. The first one of these that I bought, and look at that flat color, is printed really beautifully. Flat color is a bit... Yeah, maybe I should have put some variants in there because sometimes that's hard to print. Oh, I'm really happy with this. This is looking good. Okay, so let's take a look. The full, and with all these decks, I will create flip through videos so that you'll be able to see every single card before you purchase. So don't feel like you have to buy now. Um, you can buy after you watch a flip through video. I'll be creating maybe, I might try and aim to do one each week or something like that. Well, there's only two decks anyway, so. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. Um, the Fool, The Magician. I think we can read that quite nicely. I was a little bit concerned about this, but I purchased this font specifically for these cards because I felt it looked a bit... Um, well, it's, you know, that Leonardo da Vinci style font. Well, he, was, he wasn't Greek, was he? But, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> But it's that kind of font that I was going for. So I did purchase this font, especially for this deck. Oh, I'm really happy with this. And the other thing I wanted to do, so yeah, I designed this thinking that this would be a deck that my dad would really like. Um, and the other way, reason why I designed this was, because um, you know the jar, how I like to draw quotes from the jar. And very often I've always historically had um, stoic wisdom quotes in that jar and this is my way of giving the jar to everybody you know so that in your tarot reading you might not have a jar with handwritten quotes doesn't matter you've got this so that's why I designed this deck because I thought this is my way of sharing the jar with everybody okay now see that is not perfect I think it's something stuck I don't know, I'll take a look later, but I'll keep going here. I mean, I'm I'm happy with, with this. This is good. The printing of this is, has been beautiful. That has turned out really well. But this, I think it's because there's a large portion of flat color. I think maybe that's why. But actually, these are looking great. Oh, and I'm really happy with this. Just needs a bit of dusting. I think that's all it is. Yeah. I made this one a bit darker. See, I tweaked the colors a little bit. What I did in this version, so one of you does own the original proof copy of this, and what I did in this version is I made, I think the font's a bit bigger, actually, here and here. I, I tinkered with it a bit, but these fonts are the same. And sometimes, and well, yeah, what I've done here is, so I've made these white, and sometimes they're black. So that, some of that has changed. Aha, and we've got black type here as opposed to, I think in the original version it was white. So this is better. It's more readable for sure. Oh, cool. I'm really happy with this. I think these have turned out great. That's the sun color. Yep, okay, great. Well, I'm gonna put these for sale and up, but look out for flip through video 
um, in case because you probably might want to see what every single card is like you'll be able to see that on one of my flip through videos so I will make that let's take a look let's see oh two of swords all right if it's not right don't do it if it's not true do not say it aha uh -huh. two of swords well let's see moon in libra do you know moon in libra is a really good and these are i've looked up these positions for all of these and yeah so um moon in libra that is actually a good omen for a new product launch two of swords not the best card but <laughs> let's see what else we get let's shuffle let's see come on give us a good omen for this for the launch of these cards what else do we have here yeah these the, it's like the knife has been or the the cutting thing that they use is good on here because when I opened the first original Stoic Tarot, it was, it was kind of dusty and I was like, I wanted to write to them and say, hey, you need to... Oh, fantastic. Ten of Pentacles. Excellent. Very happy with that. <laughs> um, this is a good omen for new decks. Ten of Pentacles. Be moderate in order to taste the joys of life in abundance. Okay, sure. That's good. But it's Ten of Pentacles. That's great. Two of Swords. Well... No, that's not so bad. Let's see what we get from here. This will be interesting. This is massive. Shuffling this is just... Well, this is turning out to be a bit of a longer video. It just cut out there. Um, shuffling this is a skill in itself. I, I should do this with my eyes closed, actually, because I can kind of see the colours on the side. I can tell. All right, let's... Uh, should I close my eyes? Mm, I don't know. That may be not a good idea. Because I'll end up knocking the camera knowing me okay now I will close my eyes I can do this I can shuffle and close my eyes amazing all right let's just take that one whatever it is oh cool I love it Jupiter in the first house that's good all right yeah that's a great omen for for a business love it yes very happy with that good let's take one more let's be greedy and then I'll, I'll read them all together. <laughs> but what I will do, I'm putting together a bit of a... Oh, let's take them. More Jupiter. All right, well, Jupiter just wants to be here. Thank you, Jupiter. You're going to expand the sales of this, aren't you? Jupiter in the fourth, very good. And Jupiter in the fifth. Yes, fantastic. Very happy with both of these. Wonderful. Well, I'm very happy with all this. Oh, great. But as you can see, guys, these are the decks. I'm, am I going to open this or am I going to... What am I going to do? I'm not sure. I, I, I might open this or leave it shrink-wrapped and sell them for a discount on the... I really just wanted to see how this image would turn out because this is a different image to the one we have on the back here. And, I mean, I'm fairly happy with it. It's a composite again. Um, it's just something a bit different to this to indicate that this is a different deck. I think I'm, I'm happy enough. I think I'm ready to just let this go. And what I can do is... And I, I am happy with this image, I think. I think that is lovely, isn't it? Oh, that was the other thing I wanted to show you. I've got proofs of the next chapter today. I'm so I'm trying to decide: do I do I open these as part of a flip through, or do I um, just sell them on my site at a discounted price, which I might, because I just wanted to see basically how these turned out. And I'm pretty happy with those. I think they look quite good on on screen. Hang on. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure that out. I do a test. Well, this is enough of a test video. The other thing I want to show you, I'll just do this very, very quickly, is the Nakshatra deck which is being made. And this is kind of how it's coming along. Um, so how about I clear these? So I think I'm happy enough with all this. There will be a link you can purchase. Good, good. And what have we got going on here? So now I originally was going to do, and you can see these are larger. Okay, so this is the standard tarot size. These are not. These are actually small. So I love the smaller size. This is this is their trump card size. That's what they call it. Trump. 
yeah, trump card size. And this is their tarot card size. And I love this. And I thought we need the bigger real estate because there's quite a bit of information that I wanted to give. Now, there will be, so there are 27 nakshatras and times two, that's 54. So I thought we'd have sort of Ashwini, say, for example, and then I'd have all their stats. But we'd have Ashwini in love and I've got some guidance and we've got Ashwini at work. Okay, so that's how I'm doing that. And on the back, you can see I've got these gorgeous images here and, and I had selected 27 images and I've got a sample print for Sat the Bishak as well. Have a look at that. Isn't that cool? But I have looked up the terms and service of the um, usage, whatever, of the company where I'm getting the images from and I don't think I can just use their images unfortunately so I've had to scrap the design for this this will be the same so this will be there but now what I've got on the back is I've just got this um, watercolor background and Rena, I don't know if you're watching thank you so much for suggesting on one of the episodes you suggested hey why don't you use your little Ganeshji uh, logo icon and that's what I've got so I've got watercolor background and I when I showed it to my mum I because I showed her these and I really loved these I just think this is so wonderful but I'm not able to use it I was feeling really bad she looked at my screen and she looked at the watercolor thing that I've got there instead which I thought was really boring but she actually said to me I prefer that what's on your screen than this she thought this was boring isn't that interesting so I'm going to have a printout of the new look of this. This side will look like this, but then the reverse side will have watercolor paint and my little logo on there. And yeah, my mum saw it and she preferred that. So I, I don't know if I prefer that yet because I can't see it um, printed and that's, I kind of need to see it printed. Um, but, you know, that's okay. I've also updated the color. So yeah, I've updated all these colors and slowly, slowly it's all going on. So this, where am I with this? This is, I've designed about a third of the cards. It's all written, but I've made a third of the files and I just got to make two thirds, the rest of the files, and then I've got to send them off to print. And then maybe in I don't know two three months maybe I'm hoping to finish by the end of the year um, this will be available for purchase as well so on the website you will be able to buy this um, at the moment yeah and at the moment you can get this which is great and you will be able to get uh, the stoic tarot this is like the jar in a tarot deck basically um, yeah so that's what I've been busy doing all this time and I want to thank you guys so much anyone who's watched to the end of this video thank you so much I hope this has been a bit interesting little bit of behind the scenes what I'm working on I always love behind the scenes videos and you know to see someone's creative process and what they do and I love all that stuff so I hope maybe some of you have enjoyed this video um, some of you might be really boring but <laughs> it's okay um, let me know in the comments below any of your thoughts I also want to thank everyone who's commented on the cards themselves some of you have put forward such wonderful uh, comments and things and um, especially there have been a couple of you who were quite important with the colors the choosing of the colors one of you actually wrote me a message saying okay these are the planets you need to update this is what you need to do and I was so touched by that I want to thank you uh, I hope that person's watching you know for popping in this was like a few weeks ago when I was actually doing this work and <clears throat> no one no one knew I was doing it but um, you know I had a, a message come from one of you and it, it, it was such a great message because it's like you're cheering me on saying yeah keep going and that there are people waiting for these and that's that's fantastic so guys Hope you enjoy all this stuff and look out for the flip through videos. They'll be coming in the next few weeks. So if you want to hold off on your purchase, certainly do, because I will go, I'll make a video where I actually go through every single card and you'll be able to see in full what you're buying before you buy it. All right. Well, thanks so much, everyone. Take care and I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.